things that shall be and the things that was. We, we, we deal sometimes in a, in a, in a place of awe. Of, 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 uh, yeah, that's all you can say, awe. Uh, you know, because when you should be some way, you know, and you, you can go to bed at night and wake up in the morning, you go to bed in trouble and go to bed tormented in your mind and wake up in the morning and God done turn everything around. You live in a, in a world of awe. You know. And everything that God does sometimes it just totally amazes you. It just blows you away. And sometimes you can be so into yourself and into your situation that you make yourself ashamed when God turns around. You know, and you be embarrassed because you you mumble it. You, you mumble and complain so bad, and you you talk to everybody, and you had this gloom as you can sit out. You had this gloom about you, and you know, this old boy is me. And then when God do something, but He do it in such a miraculous way, and the only thing you got is awe. Oh, he just make those awes happen in your life.
you know, we want to act like we've been faithful and believe God all the time. Well, I guess I'm trying to tell somebody this time, and I'm not even going to read the scripture. I'm going to use the one Sister Hughes had. For now we see through a glass door. Mm -hmm. It said, but then shall we know even as also I am known. See, because you can't see your way through this one. You just got to believe God. And you, you ain't going to figure this one out. Uh -huh. It's because at the time that you feel like you got it figured out, God will throw a monkey wrench in it and mess it all up. So now the reason why this happens to us because now we see through a glass darkly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But in a little while. Huh? And it won't be very long. Like, we don't know even as our souls are in. No. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs>